Hello again, this is Kevin Ring. Today I'm going to show you how to get up and running with the Barco Event Master toolset using the simulator. Uh, you may have used the simulator in the past, but over the last software versions, the way that you launch the simulator has changed drastically for the better. Previously you had to utilize a third-party software or a secondary software uh, and run the event tool. Uh, here, I'll even show you what it was. Uh, it was the video processor simulator. You'd have to run this using the WVP9876 folder. Good news is it's gotten much easier now. So I've launched 9.1 of Event Master Toolset. And in the upper left-hand corner, there's three tabs. Discovered, in use, and now this newish tab is Simulator. So I can now launch and create and build the simulator directly in the Event Master Toolset. I don't have to do anything else. So I'm going to click Add Frame. Now I can choose what frame or frames ooh, that I can simulate. I'm able to simulate up to four linked frames. So we can do E2 Junior, E2, E2 Gen 2, uh, gen generic chassis, S3 Junior, the EX, Image Pro 4K, and even the PDS 4K. If I were to select an E2 Gen 2, it's going to be that default of the system. But we know oftentimes we're going to have different custom card configurations. So if I select these arrows to the right, it's going to open up the editor where I can now change how the system is going to be configured. For example, if I want to do all tri combo cards, I can select the cards and make that happen. But I'll put this back to the default of HDMI 2.0. So now that I've added the frame, I'm going to hit reset and launch a simulator. This is going to open up uh, the background tab where it's going to launch the simulator itself. Now, if you're on an Apple computer, uh, it's not going to pop open this window. This is only on uh, it's only on Windows, but Apple it works the same way. So I'm looking for the magic word Signal VP up and running, and it's going to launch the simulator now based off of my IP address. If you're on a Windows machine, it'll actually say the IP address here. Once again, if you're on a Mac, it'll be just whichever one pops up. So here's my E2 Gen 2. I can drag it into the system. Let's go to Acquire. And the good news is, if it doesn't work the first time, not a problem. I'll just hit reset and launch again. Normally I can't force that, so I'm actually glad it worked on this video. And here's my E2 Gen 2 system. I can now build out all of my screen destinations, all of my input sources, assign layers, and everything's based off of reality. So if I go to my VP Resources tab, sure enough, like an E2 Gen 2, I have my 8 canvas links and my 16 single link mixing layers. Really nifty. So, I have another video that shows you how to save and restore the simulator. So if you want to learn how to do that, please go ahead and watch that video. But now if I want to change my system up, I want to just do something different. I can do an S3. Here's the configuration. I hit reset and launch simulator. Now it's already acquired at the same IP address, so it should auto acquire. We can always check the status, and here is a full fledged S3, which once again, eight canvas links, but however, only one uh, VPU card per bank, so I have four single link mixing layers. As I mentioned, too, we can even look at an Image Pro 4K. Acquiring, 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 assigning, assigning, and here is my Image Pro 4K. So remember with the Image Pro 4K, I can change the system mode to standard program, standard preview, or matrix preview. Cool. Now I have full control of all of my AUX destinations. And last but certainly not least, we can simulate a PDS 4K. This is the newest system of the Event Master Toolset family, and also features embedded Dante. Ooh. So here's my PDS 4K. If I look at all the tabs here. I can choose system mode, which is two 4K at 60s or four 4K at 30s. Very nifty. So if you think you're going to be doing a show with the PDS 4K, you can go ahead and replicate that. Works the same way as the E2 and S3. The only difference is all the inputs are built for you already. 
That's really the only difference. Uh, and then, as I mentioned too, I can even simulate linking systems. So if I'm doing an E2 to an S3, reset launch. Watch the status here. Signal BP up and running, and here it is. So as we know, when we link an E2 to an S3, we are not increasing our canvas, thus each one has its own canvas. Nifty. So that's how to launch the simulator now in the Event Master toolset. Uh, have fun, play with whatever system you'd like. The, the big takeaway is whenever you hit the word reset, it's going to erase whatever you have in your system. So if you want to come back in a future point and play with your system, all you have to do is hit launch simulator and it'll launch whatever the last one is you opened. Otherwise, watch the other video where I show you how to save, export, and reload your simulated show. Cool. We'll have fun.